Next piece of advice that I have for you is absolutely the most important tip of the entire day, probably of your entire career. Hello everyone and welcome to The Commendable Kind. My name is Celeste Page and this is a place where we help Christian women build meaningful and profitable online businesses that bring glory to God. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so glad that you've come to join us. So today's video is all about becoming a profitable online Christian coach. Maybe you're a Christian life coach or you're just some other type of coach. The life coaching world is so massive when you think about it. You could be a marriage coach. You could be, you know, a, a food coach. There's just so many, you know, avenues in which you can become a coach. So this is a broad video on no matter what type of service based business you want to get into, how do you become profitable in that? So we're going to be diving into some ways in which you can go about starting your journey to becoming profitable in your own online venture. And definitely stay tuned to the end of this video for a special resource that will definitely help you kickstart your business journey. So speaking of journeys, I would like to touch on my own personal journey so that way you can get to know me a little bit more and why I'm even a good, you know, you could say credible source for giving you this information. So I actually decided to become a Christian life coach a couple years back. I just enrolled on a beautiful course and um, it, it was amazing. It was life changing. I really thought the Lord was telling me, blessed, go down this path of becoming a Christian coach. And so I did. And I'm so glad that I did. Now I'm kind of jumping around in the story here, but okay, let's fast. Let's yeah, fast forward all the way back to when I was in college. So I was in college and I decided to get my degree in marketing and I wasn't really super passionate about the idea of marketing, but I knew that marketing is very important. You know, marketing has a level of influence, which really appealed to me because there's a lot of people who have these marketing businesses or just brands in general doesn't necessarily have to be marketing who are not trying to glorify God. Right. And they really can just manipulate people and get people to believe a certain narrative. And so I thought, you know what, if I get into marketing, I could be someone who, who spreads a lot of good, you know? So fast forward all the way back now, I decided to take this Christian life coaching course and I meet the most phenomenal woman, like seriously life changing moment in my life where I was surrounded by all of these amazing women with like these tremendous ideas on how they wanted to start and build their online coaching practices. And you know, there's just so many different like subsets within that. It wasn't all just like Christian life coaching, you know, it's like holistic coaching to help you eat, eat well and like feel better about your mental health. And it was just so diverse. Like there's so many women in that Christian coaching group that really, really wanted to do these super niche things. And so that really inspired me actually to start the commendable kind. So with that being said, I had already had a marketing agency for several years leading up to this point. And when I decided to take the Christian coaching program, I really felt the Lord say, Hey, quit your marketing agency and help Christian women build their online businesses. And so that's exactly what I did. So now we're here. <laughs> so with all that being said, I do have a background in building companies. And I really thought like, Hey, if I could do this for, you know, just about any business, why can't I do it for these Christian women? So I'm going to be giving you some really important tips that you need to invest the time to research and just take the time to figure out. So that way, when you continue on your entrepreneurial journey, you're setting yourself up for success. So with that being said, the first tip that I want to give to you guys is to niche down. Now, what is a niche? A niche is essentially a community of people who share a similar interest, right? So for example, if we're using the commendable kind, all of you guys who follow the commendable kind, most of you are Christian, if not all, and all of you guys, if not all of you guys are business owners as well. So that's our little community. That's our little niche. We all are Christians, but we all are also business owners. So there are niches everywhere, right? You could have, you know, niches in the food industry, in the health industry, in the relationship industry, my best advice would be to figure out what your niche or niche is. Niche or niche, I interchange them a lot. <laughs> and if you don't know where to start or how to figure out what your niche is, what you can do is look in your past. 
what trials and tribulations and challenges did you walk through that you've overcame, right? Start there. There's definitely something in your life that is super valuable. You've learned a super valuable lesson. You've gained some type of skills. You've walked through some type of mental hardship and was able to escape that. Really dig deep into your past because there are people out there right now who are struggling and who want to be where you're at right now. So the benefits of having a very clear niche is understanding and honing in on your messaging. Messaging is so huge in marketing. You want to have a consistent message message across all of your social media this, and this is so that way you can attract your target audience or the people that you're trying to serve right the internet is this ginormous space filled with so many different types of people and your ultimate goal is to find the people that you're trying to serve and how we do this is establishing a niche so that way you have consistent messaging so you're able to speak to the people that you're trying to find and work with the next piece of advice that i have for you is absolutely the most important tip of the entire day probably of your entire career i know i'm i'm taking it that far but this is literally the secret sauce to having a profitable online business okay are you ready it's having an ecosystem i know you probably were expecting me to say something else but let me explain when you have an ecosystem right let's take the rainforest for for example what things within the rainforest make it thrive, right? So the trees, there needs to be specific types of trees, the weather, right? It has to be probably on the hotter side. It can't be like a negative 10 because all the wildlife would die and all of the plants would die as well. The wildlife, right? It has to have abundance of different types of animals. Now let's apply this same concept to your business. What is your business ecosystem? It's going to be the reviews. It's going to be how many likes you have on Facebook, how many followers you have on Facebook, how many followers you have on Instagram, how many comments do you get per post on Instagram, right? How many saves do you get, right? This is what builds out your ecosystem. How many testimonials do you have? When people are looking you up on Google, are you taking up that first page of Google? And if not, are you coming up as one, two, three, four, five? Is it your business that's popping up when people are looking you up on Google? This is so underestimated and underappreciated in the business landscape. And it's the simple fact of trust and credibility. In order for somebody to trust you, you have to look like you're actually established. For an example, let's say you're running an ad on Instagram. Somebody clicks on the ad, it takes them to your profile. If they see you only have three followers and you get like one like per photo, <laughs> That person is not going to be interested in your products or services. Why? Because you're not credible. It looks like you just made that account. Now, let's say you are running ads and you do have a large following. Let's say you have a thousand followers and on every post you're getting at least 50 likes and you're getting a decent amount of comments on each post. It really doesn't have to be a super high number. I mean, obviously the higher the number, the better, but when we're just starting, but when you're just starting out, you don't need to have these crazy numbers. The whole idea is that you want to look like you're established that you've been doing what it is you're doing for a long time. People want to feel like they're a part of a community. When they stand for something or find value in a product or service, and there's tons of other people who agree and find value in that product or service, you're going to get a higher chance to convert that prospect into a raving fan of your brand. So if you want me to deep dive more on this topic, comment down below. Even if I get a couple comments, that would be great. We are a very small YouTube channel, but we're here, we're high and mighty, and we're not going away anytime soon. So I wanna start interacting with you guys. If this is something you're interested in, let me know and I will make a full video on your marketing ecosystem in its entirety. The next point is you wanna make sure that you are actually establishing the correct marketing strategies within your practice. Now, I'm sure you've heard the term marketing strategies. It's a very thrown out term. And I feel like a lot of people don't actually understand what it is to have a solid marketing strategy. So again, if you want me to make a full video on marketing strategies and how you can apply specific marketing strategies within your Christian coaching practice, again, comment down below on this video. I wanna know your thoughts. I wanna start interacting with you guys. Definitely let me know. But just to give you some pointers right off the bat, marketing strategies revolve around these three things. SaaS, 
social media, advertisements, and SEO. You want to make sure that you're doing these three things to have an effective marketing strategy. The next point is building value and establishing trust. Now we already touched on trust and credibility when we were talking about our marketing ecosystem, but let's touch on providing value. Let's talk about Instagram for a minute because I'm sure we're, everyone who's watching this video right now is on Instagram. I'm 95% sure. When you create really valuable content, Instagram will push out that content to a little bit of people, some to your followers, but the majority to non-followers. And if a lot of people like your content, they're watching it over and over again, which leads to higher retention rates, they're commenting on the video, they're sharing it, they're saving it, Instagram is then going to push out that post to even more people. And that's how virality happens. So essentially, you wanna make sure that you're providing super high quality, valuable content because social media platforms like Instagram will push out your content to even more people and more people will come into your profile and enjoy your content It'll and it will just be the snowball effect that will positively impact your business. The next point that I have for you guys is you wanna make sure you're investing into your own personal development. Now, as a service-based business, your service is very interpersonal, meaning you wanna make sure that you have really good communication skills, listening skills. You wanna make sure that you're asking the right questions to your clients, right? And that all really can be developed through you taking the time to, you know, practice that muscle of enhancing your skill sets. So let me tell you, right off the bat, invest in multiple courses, right? If you're looking to be a Christian life coach, take multiple life coaching courses. There's so much you can learn. Make sure you're taking the time to search up YouTube videos. Make sure you're taking the time to read books. Investing back into yourself, back into your skill sets, is going to make your business so, 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 so much better. I also wanna note that faith-based development here is super critical as well. Make sure you're spending time in your Bible because the Lord is able to surpass your skills and do things in your life that you don't even have to do, right? So really making the time for Jesus in these moments will also very, very, very much so benefit your business, but also just benefit your life, your spirit, and just who you are as a person. So that's just a quick little side note I wanted to add in there. Okay, and so the next one is you wanna stay committed and you want to stay patient. Now, I know that starting a business is so exciting. I feel like we all get this adrenaline rush of what the future could be, and we can get really caught up in that. But the most growth, the transformational parts are in the waiting seasons. It's in the valley season. Yeah, the Lord will give you these like crazy mountaintops, but then it'll level out and you feel like you're not progressing anymore because there's no mount, mountaintop you're going on right now. Those valley seasons are so, 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 so helpful in your business, in your personal life, because when you are just doing mundane things and you're practicing those things, whenever the Lord does bring that mountaintop, you are going to grow so much. So definitely steward the valley season, steward the time where it, it looks like things aren't really going along, you're, you're having a hard time getting clients. Your development process is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And when the Lord wants to elevate you, bring you your abundance, it'll be on his time. And so just making sure we're staying in the flow of God's time is so critically important especially in our business because it's so easy again to get caught up in the excitement of what our business could be but remember our business isn't about what it could be our business is about what god wants it to be what he wants to do through us right so definitely try to reframe your, your mind when you're kind of going through these negative ruts we all go through them i've gone through them so many times where i've literally had to remind myself like hey this isn't your business this is God's business. This I am doing work for the kingdom of God right now, you know? So just kind of setting those cues in your mind and reminding yourself, hey, this business is to glorify God. Let him do what he wants with it. Really, really will frame your mind to make sure you're staying on the path of success. So now I want to talk about that special resource I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I'm inviting all of you guys to join the TCK community 
more information on that in, in the description. Essentially, we will be releasing exclusive videos, tips, tricks, tons of resources at your disposal. So if you want more information on that, be sure to sign up and you can get started with that today. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. We are a new channel, but we are not going away anytime soon. So we would love for you guys to come to our little community here and see what we're all about as we would like to pour into you as much as we possibly can. So I'm gonna close this out in prayer and I will catch you in the next video. So Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for my sister on the other side of the screen right now. I pray a wall of fire to protect her mind, to protect her body, and to protect her business, Lord. Lord, I pray that she allows you to move how you want to move in her business. Lord, I pray that all of us just take a step back and allow you to fill up the space in our business, in our homes, in our minds. Lord, thank you for using us as willing wombs, as vessels to do your good on this earth. It's a privilege to be in this position, Lord, and we just steward that. Lord, I pray for a divine calling for my sister watching this video right now, that she may be able to step into whatever it is you want her to do for you here on this earth, Lord. Whether that's something on a massive scale or on a smaller scale, Lord, we just pray that she's able to walk in her calling, walk into what you want her to walk into. Thank you so much, Lord, for your patience with us. Thank you for being near, Lord. We just, we honor you and we give you this space. Lord, I want to thank you for using me as a mouthpiece. Truly, uh, this is all you, Lord, and I'm just so thankful, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom. And Holy Spirit, I pray for wisdom to be imparted on my sister on the other side of the screen as well. So Heavenly Father, thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.